That was beautiful. Like his head voice sounds so good. That was all pretty much all in head voice. A little bit of a, a mix down on the lower part. Wow, this song just keeps you guessing the entire time. 99% of the time, I hate songs that are super predictable. This song definitely is not one of those. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. Hey everyone, Adam Mishan here, singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. Gonna be reacting to Addie's The Black Cat. Let's check it out. From a year ago. Wow. So I am very impressed with the vocal control here. It's really amazing how light and easy is going into his voice here. This is not at all what I was expecting from, you know, an Addie's song, especially a Halloween song. I thought it would be like in your face. Like this is very dialed back, very light. You know, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of how Dimash would start some of his songs, which very cool. <laughs> That was beautiful. Like his head voice sounds so good. That was all pretty much all in head voice, a little bit of a, a mix down on the lower parts, but he has a really nice light floaty head voice that is very enviable. Wow. Okay. Yo! New pickup here. Wow, what a juxtaposition. Wow, so he's rapping really fast and he's got a really relaxed way of rapping that allows him to increase his breath control. You know, this is more of what I was expecting based on the thumbnail. I mean, the thumbnail, he looks like the Joker, but I guess it's a Halloween video, so that kind of makes sense. But like, if you listen to these two different parts, would you even think they're in the same song? Like, they sound like two totally different songs. It's crazy. All right, so the sung parts are getting closer to the melodic sort of beginning part, but I really like how slow they do it at the beginning where they really kind of can lean on their voice a little bit more. Here, they really have to be on point and more full. And they're not going quite as light as they did in the beginning part. So it's definitely much fuller of a mix that they're singing with at this point. All right, so you can hear that. La, la. Very full. Wow, this song just keeps you guessing the entire time. 99% of the time, I hate songs that are super predictable. This song definitely is not one of those. This keeps you guessing from beginning to end. It's intriguing. Now, I haven't heard many songs these days with musical interludes in the middle. You know, usually you lose your audience if you don't have vocals, like literally just a wall of vocals from beginning to end. But here they decided to throw in a totally blank musical instrumental part in the middle. So, Interesting choice. <laughs> So it's interesting, in this one, they, they kind of pulled back a little bit on their intensity. They're going a little bit lighter than they did in the previous chorus. You know, let me double check. Yeah. That's definitely a fuller mix. This is much lighter. Yeah, not quite going as heavy. Very interesting. Put them up, your hands, the you ready? Are you guys ready? 
say it. I like the telephone distortion they've got here. That's a really nice touch to make a voice sound very distorted. Say it now. It's time to sing it together. Say it now. Reminding everybody of anything, Michael Jackson's thriller there. So this is definitely going higher than even course one and course two, and it's going much more full out. This would be like closer to kind of a rock vocal that you would expect in like, like 70s, 80s rock. <laughs> Isn't that a high note? Whoa! Did you hear that high note? That was incredible. Holy. That singer at the end, he's got chops. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click on that one because you're going to like it too.